Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And here we are, another season, another theme with the Camellia's Bloom podcast. As our community continues to blossom and bloom, I've decided to center this season around the topics of diversity and community. TCB, the Camellia's Bloom, has become such a diverse community, so why not make this season all about that? Season three will not only cover the topic of cultural diversity, but we'll also cover a general garden full of diverse topics that affect the Muslim community in one way or another. What does that entail? Well, grab your cup of halal goodness and join us for this season with your with host, your host Khadija. Khadija. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to season three. Finally, we're back, inshallah, and we're going to get right started we're gonna get right started get started does that make sense we're gonna get right started <laughs> we're gonna get started right away um we're gonna get started right away and kicking off season one oh, oh my gosh <laughs> kicking off Girl. And it's not even late over here. So kicking off season three, episode one, I have Queenie with me, my beautiful Queenie, um, my alhamdulillah, long standing admin. So grateful that you are joining me for season three. And we're going to have actually a lot of things to talk about because this season we're focusing on diversity and community, which I think is a very, very beautiful topic and a much needed one um to talk about in our Definitely. muslim community so diversity we know that like it it's you know generally speaking revolving around like cultural ethnicity cultural diversity but for me i wanted to actually expand further than that so we're going to be covering a lot of things like a variety of topics under the banner i guess of diversity so look mm -hmm. out for that it's gonna be exciting inshallah mm -hmm. um so queenie what have you been up to i feel like we have not we haven't recorded in a really long time actually has it been over a year i think you know what it has been i mean it feels like over a year but I think we stopped in February. Yeah, the last episode we recorded for season two. Actually, no, I just published, like I saw the last episode published was February. But I think we mm -hmm. did stop recording over a year ago. Whoa. SubhanAllah. <sighs> That's crazy. So, but alhamdulillah, we've been like talking still like mm -hmm. daily. Like, yeah. At least. <laughs> So it's not like, wow, like hiatus. Um, but yeah, how are you? What have you been up to recently? Let us know. Okay, so um, if we started, no, if we stopped recording over a year ago, then I've graduated my bachelor's program. Woo, woo, woo. Congrats. Alhamdulillah. 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 That's actually a uh, huge um, goal, like a huge accomplishment. Mashallah. It, is and also it feels like just the beginning of yes life. oh gosh right and Definitely. you know like when you graduate like high school university or whatever you feel lost mm. because you don't have like that daily schedule that you go back to right and then just the next day after graduation is like now what what do I do with my life? I start exactly. applying to jobs and then you don't even get an answer back until like months later. It's like, oh, we regret to inform you. Da, da, da. Or sometimes they don't even right. tell you that. Oh gosh, yeah. And it's just like a Debbie Downer on my mood. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start my own business because I'm not going to waste time. And exactly. Allah has gifted me with these type of skills, and I want to use it to benefit this ummah, which brings me to my next journey, which is opening my own business. Inshallah. Good for you. Uh, Proactive. Taking initiative. I, I really try. Good for you. I mean, 
Yeah, I'm, my whole idea is to name it Amana because mm -hmm. I want to give the tools to our brothers and sisters in Islam to utilize it and make our curiosity bigger, like feed into our curiosity about Islam. Mm -hmm. And then it is an Amana to us to build that relationship with right. Allah. So right. that's the whole story behind the name. That's amazing. So excited for that, inshallah. Nice. May Allah bless your endeavors and make them easy and successful. Um, I mean, I mean, how about you? What's what's with you? Oh, what's up with me? Um since we last recorded, or even just since like I guess after ramadan i i, mm -hmm. I find like i always go through a serious burnout after ramadan so I feel like everyone does yeah like i just you know and i i was sharing on tcb a lot like you know you want to come out of ramadan like you know not burnt out and feeling defeated i mean alhamdulillah i don't feel defeated but i just feel really burnt out like i'm still feeling burnt out you know so i'm trying yeah. to really like cool down cool down okay so get this i'm trying to cool down with the burnout i'm trying to cool down from the burnout however mm -hmm. it's summertime here now so i'm going through like seasonal depression because it's like 40 plus every day <laughs> and like oh my God. alhamdulillah for ac but because there's no central ac in the homes so it's like whatever room you're in you can turn the AC on, which like, alhamdulillah for that, right? But the mm -hmm. rest of the home is so hot. You know what I mean? Oven. Yeah. So like if I'm, say, in like one room and the AC is on, but then I go to the kitchen and like I have to cook or whatever, there's no mm -hmm. AC there. And it's just so hot. Yeah. It's like you need to take, honestly, like three showers a day in the summertime. Oh. Yeah. I am so in awe of how hot it gets on this side of the world <laughs> subhanallah it's because like you know us canadian gals um yeah and even like i think vancouver doesn't get as cold as toronto obviously no um i'm so used to the cold like minus one to me is like that's normal weather for me you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> but, which i know not it's not for you um no. but like here it's like 40 plus humidity and that or including humidity so subhanallah it's just Damn. really yeah it's really it's really exhausting like it sort of drains me yeah in all aspects like mentally mood you just don't want to do anything you know what i mean no yeah i totally get what you mean because when i was also living in china it was oh, like gosh. hot humid yes and even like when it's raining it's like humid rain and when it's like windy it's hot air yes 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 and i i know that china gets so hot and humid too mm -hmm. oh so so i totally understand what you're feeling right now yeah and it lasts for like a good six months i would say Ew. other than that i've just been working on tcb i i'm actually feeling like even getting started on tcb it's been i'm not gonna lie it's been really difficult you know and this can be this can be and will be a separate episode because i think that we definitely need to dedicate like a behind the scenes like what goes on behind the scenes with tcb gonna go um, in on it yeah we're gonna go i think there's <laughs> gonna be more than like one episode <laughs> Like, it's just been really, I find, I mean, obviously, at, like, obviously, it's obvious. And it goes without saying that, you know, I'm doing this for a lot. Like, this is for a lot, you know, this yeah. is like, inshallah, my sadaqah jaria. Like, I, that's what I dream of, you know, yeah. but sometimes like you just get so, I, I don't know, frustrated is the word maybe when it's like, okay. And it's not like I'm looking for some payback or like because that would no. be the wrong like that would be the wrong intention like if i'm looking for some um payback you know what i mean um no i totally get what you mean but like you know at least i think okay i want to be shown a little bit of gratitude yeah or like not like 
not gratitude well okay maybe for you maybe gratitude but like engagement like you know what i mean like that's part of gratitude though yeah true you're right that's right like i guess engagement and just like feedback feedback is so important like because this community Mm -hmm. isn't just for us it's for everyone and if you're part of the community like we we need feedback to know like okay you know you guys like this you don't like this you want to see more of this you know what i mean yeah so i mean it even goes like as simple as like commenting uh on a post or sharing liking it like we are not looking for likes because we want like we want that to feed our egos no <laughs> it's for like a kind of like motivation for us to keep yes. going and pushing more content exactly like letting us know that like yes we like this we want more of mm-hmm. this you know what i mean yeah so yeah but you know what like <clears throat> i think i'm going through that phase and i i feel like i've gone through this phase with tcb like every once in a while and it's normal i guess it happens right when we're on when we're mm-hmm. on social media like it's bound to happen yeah um but we just got to keep going because at the end of the day like you know everything takes patience and i can't be hasty like you know i have to like sort of keep just go- looking forward and not um even though it's hard and it's difficult um when you know you sort of feel like you're just having like a monologue <laughs> yeah. you know what you mean <laughs> um but it is what it is you know and i feel like there's such a struggle with like okay well this sister is like doing all these things and showing herself um and she's getting feedback maybe like i need to do more of that but that's against my comfort zone and my values you know what i mean so Mm -hmm. i shouldn't just like do things because it's gonna get more i don't know views like views and maybe those aren't even sincere views or likes and engagement you know what i mean because people are just nosy they like to see other people's lives and we're not tcb is not about that so yeah so it's always like just you know always remembering allah is the one that brings the good members to our community and Allah is the one who makes um, our page grow. So we just got to sit in for that ride and keep going, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, so um, aside from that, have you been watching anything or like trying new foods or anything? Anything cool? Um, interesting. I binge watched a korean (laughs) drama okay i was like actually shocked when i (laughs) when i said shocking i'm like queenie one just k drama i I was just like watch those um web dramas as well like on youtube really Mm -hmm. oh my gosh that's so cute I was like really I was like shocked but I was like wow this is so cool (laughs) you like talk about it (laughs) um okay so you binge watched a k-drama um recently right I know which one you're yeah so nothing since then um I also binge watch um a couple like sci-fi tv shows Uh uh-huh I don't know I'm always into like sci-fi by um true crime kind of thing right Uh, i don't know is it is it weird for me to say that like true crime stuff calms me down a little bit no i don't think so i to be honest with you i love that kind of stuff you Um, the drama of all these guys be like oh my god she's a psychopath (laughs) she's learning how to torture men through these true crime podcasts um like i don't think actually it's crazy at all like i really don't think so so i mean i, I don't know so. <laughs> i think there's just like i don't know like why do you think it's comforting like what what do you think makes you feel comfortable um getting to know the mindset of a psychopath to avoid the psychopaths <laughs> yes um actually i'm exactly the same that's why i love true crime or like just crime um crime stories it's just like the psychology behind these psychopaths that 
like gets me really interested into it yes. it always starts with like something in their childhood about exactly. like some trauma and stuff and then i'm like i think into my past and how easily i could turn into one of these psychopaths and oh like alhamdulillah gosh. you know what <laughs> let's we should do like some episodes on um like true crime stuff like interesting stories we hear yeah i'm down because i think that would be cool like why not you know we're talking side about commentary person. reactions videos <laughs> yeah those are really funny um that yeah let's i'm gonna add that on the list okay so okay are you watching anything <sighs> am i watching it what am i watching oh i've been into um i've been into vlogs lately mm-hmm. um because usually don't mind me eating including some asmr in there <laughs> um i've been into vlogs lately and i usually watch vlogs when i'm homesick or feeling down mm-hmm. i don't know i just like enjoy sort of living vicariously through those travel vlogs. vlogs yeah travel vlogs um especially the ones mainly the ones like to south korea mm. sometimes japan east asia you know um yeah but even like i've been really into like home vlogs like just them doing stuff at home <laughs> like watching yeah. them. like it's so relaxing and some of them it like is. they're really like um creative like you know so <clears throat> yeah like they have that and also i i started um so there was always a tcb channel but like it was just uploading like the podcast episodes mm-hmm. but now i'm trying to start putting stuff out there um like Mm. random stuff yeah so trying to do like mini vlogs and like unboxings Uh maybe some like collab like unboxings i'm gonna do or like some um like collab reviews Uh, i'll put them Mm -hmm. on there too inshallah just because like i've always been into like i really always wanted to start a vlog cute yeah so i'm getting inspo from these vlogs that i'm watching (laughs) but um yeah, I'm sort of watching a K drama too. I'm actually waiting for like ones that. Um, so how I like to watch K dramas is like I have to wait until the whole thing airs, and then I yeah, can I can't, it. I can't do it while it's airing, and yeah. I have to wait for the next episode. I'm so impatient. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, like a suck full of. <laughs> I can't, I can't do those cliffhangers. Like I really can't. And you know, can't. like when everything airs up, I'm like I have to binge watch everything. Yeah, <laughs> I have no control. Exactly. Like, honestly, it's so bad. Like I, I say it that I have discipline in my life, but I don't when it comes to like TV shows and everything. It's so bad. It's just so nice to just like oh, no, what's next? Not. Yeah, no, 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 what's next? And also just like relax, like tuning mm-hmm. out mentally like that's mm-hmm. why i like k-dramas um yeah so that's what's going on that's what i'm watching um all right so catching up's finished um so let's move on to the actual topic of season three diversity mm-hmm. and community mm-hmm. so obviously you know that with every um well except for season one but season two <laughs> we've only had two seasons so with this <laughs> with um okay with season two i started it off with what does identity mean and what is identity so obviously um it's just going to be natural that i'm going to ask and talk about what is the definition of diversity what is the definition of community mm-hmm. um in a non-islamic and islamic uh way so mm-hmm. queenie what was your definition that you found for diversity in the dictionary okay so there were multiple that came up But the one that I chose is the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders, sexual orientations, and etc. Okay. Um, So for me, I found diversity, the fact of many different types of things or people 
being oh maybe i might have talked too close to the mic um <laughs> the, <laughs> the fact of many different types of things or people being included in something a range of different things or people the fact that there are many different ideas or opinions about something um mm. so quite similar i think that generally speaking we get the idea that it is it means um many types of different people and including them in something but of course yeah. like and i have to and to disclaimer here that you know we're not talking about unnatural things you know no no and, and this, I- this is just like definition by the dictionary it's not our <laughs> definition okay you guys yeah like, please don't get calm, twisted calm down like like take a breath here all right <laughs> please don't get it twisted um but yeah i mean we don't have to say it but i'm pretty sure like as muslims we know what you guys know what we're talking about um but okay so what's about definition in islam so there wasn't actually a like um specific definition but no. more like a general um definition Just, like what what general definition did you come up with um well definition for diversity would just revolve around tribalism because that's what has been brought up time and time again within different verses of the quran that we will cite later on during this discussion Mm -hmm. um and it's also a race thing too another word for tribalism i'm just like coming up with synonyms at this point but (laughs) (laughs) um (laughs) right i think we have to preface to say that um tribalism was made just to identify that we're different from each other to notice that there's difference within each other but not to exclude each other and segregate each other Mm -hmm. it's just to know that um we're all made differently by allah so allah has created us differently to get to know each other Mm -hmm. yeah that's right like uh like while there's no direct definition about diversity in islam i think like islam itself represents diversity like Mm -hmm. like just going off of what you said um it's not just a religion for arabs or just like for south asians you know it's a religion for mankind i feel like diversity and community are just sort of both embedded in the religion you know what i mean and it's so Mm -hmm. obvious because like allah mentions a lot like in the quran and we see examples in hadith you know um yeah. like for example the infamous the infamous verse oh mankind we have created you male and female and appointed you races and tribes that you may know one another surely the noblest among you in the sight of allah is the most allah fearing of you allah is all knowing all aware um chapter or surah 49 verse 13 so that's basically like going off of what you said like allah created us all differently but we're Mm -hmm. still all one community you know what i mean yeah um and i think that's beautiful like because even though we're all different we unite under the banner of tawheed and islam so i really think that you can't get more beautiful than that and it's really unfortunate that like sometimes we we don't realize that you know no yeah and it also goes into marriage as well which is very unfortunate why like some communities can't get married just because they're from a specific um background Mm -hmm. and um parents can be very traditional in that sense of like only marry within your quote-unquote tribe or race or whatever and i just think that it's so sad like allah has created so many beautiful human beings on earth and we are put here to get to know each other love each other like despite the color of our skin and if one falls with another like falls in love with another because of their emotional maturity their mindset not necessarily because of the color of the skin it's like don't be in the way of that (laughs) exactly i agree 
I feel like closed minded. Like, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Very. So we touched upon diversity. What community. about community? Yeah, that's right. Community. Um, what did you find for community? So um, I found this definition and verbatim it says a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. Oh, nice. Okay, so mine's a little bit uh, similar. I think all of the definitions are kind of similar. Um, yeah. I chose the uncountable noun, and community is friendship between different people or groups and a sense of having something in common. I think that's really, really pretty and beautiful definition. Community is like a friendship. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the definition says here, it's a friendship between different people. SubhanAllah. That's why I think diversity and community really do go hand in hand. Um, and SubhanAllah, Islam is all about that. You know what I mean? Well, should be. <laughs> should be. Yeah. <laughs> Keyword should be. Um, okay. So what do you think about? So you said that it should be like that. What did you find um, about community in Islam? Like what was the definition or general definition that you could find? Well, like, um, okay. So recently I've been getting into podcasts like um, learning more of um, the Sahaba and how the community was back then and how like every it was very tribalist mm-hmm. is that a word tribalist? i don't know if that's a word yeah um we'll make it a word <laughs> but they, they were saying like oh if if you were from the tribe of Quraysh and like you know there's many tribes within the Quraysh like, like if you're within mecca or something like that and you were a Yemeni visiting into Ye- to Mecca and you don't have any family within Mecca, then people can just pick at you, whatever, because you don't have family there. Mm. And it's just very interesting to me to see how far back this racism thing goes mm. and how their community within the tribe is so strong right. that outside of it is like non-existent mm. so i think just to summarize what the gist of islamic definition of community is that it should run deeper than blood right right yeah for sure it definitely should like so many of us think that you know we have to, we can only be a community if we're related or we have the mm-hmm. same last name or we are the same ethnicity you know but yeah. really that's just so Wrong. passe that's so passe that's so old you know yeah um and it shouldn't be like that like we're all supposed to be inclusive like islam teaches us inclusivity and um i think that islam is about it's all about inclusivity like and i think it's quite well known um how we are supposed to come together as one and always support each other like you know there's the hadith Mm -hmm. about the muslims are like a single um body if the eye is afflicted the whole body is afflicted if the head is afflicted the whole body is afflicted you know mm-hmm. um it's from say muslim um so i think it's really important that you know we remember that and we can sit here all day saying like the muslim ummah doesn't do this and doesn't do that but in reality it really starts with ourselves first you know what i mean yeah. so the more like you and i ingrain it in our in our hearts and in our minds like you know at least we can do what we can do and other people are like you know they can follow or not follow inshallah um so 
why do you think that like obviously we've sort of touched on why it's important to embrace diversity but let's like dive further deeper into um why it's important okay um i got a little tidbit here in my notes that i'm gonna read off of (laughs) go ahead so i think it's important to embrace diversity because it's simply to understand the different perspectives of any problem that may arise in life it doesn't have to be culturally but it can also be intellectually Mm. we as human beings are created differently for a reason and if the whole dunya would be to planted with people with the same ideology like how boring would that be so boring would be like robot yeah it's basically what communism is (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh exactly (laughs) very true i like that um i like that about i mean i like what you said about everybody would just be like the same and we don't want that because everyone has something to offer you know in this world like going off of what you said I think it's like, I also think it's important to embrace diversity because like, you know, we've mentioned Allah like created us all differently. So different cultures, different ethnicities. And of course, you know, again, I'm not talking about like gender stuff here um, because we all know in Islam, like what's our stance on that Mm -hmm. or what our stance on that should be. Um, But I think embracing diversity is important because like, it really opens up our minds and hearts to something new. Um, yeah. Sort of similar like what you said, you know, um, something outside of our own small little bubble. And, you know, usually bubbles are small. So being stuck in your own, um, it makes us, like, it'll make us so close-minded and so boring. And yeah. um, not embracing diversity often leads to discrimination racism stereotyping and we definitely see that a lot of muslims are stuck in this kind of groupthink mentality you know it's really sad and i feel like being stuck in this kind of mentality it only hinders yourself like your own growth it does it really does and like i have to add on to what i just said earlier it's not just like culturally but also the fact that we have mentally impaired people on this dunya Mm. people that are born without limbs or can't see or can't hear we have to build a world that's also accessible to them as well like we can't just think about us as quote-unquote normal human beings but like what is normal nowadays there's so many things that are abnormal that's becoming normal yeah and (laughs) it's just exactly Mm -hmm. like what are we living in honestly but yeah it's true like what is actually normal the normal is not normal anymore no and people keep on saying that we have to adapt with the times but like the Sharia law has been made for a reason and Islam has been put into place for a reason. If we keep on like adapting to modern times, then it's not going to be Islam anymore. It's just going to be another religion, just like Christianity, like, oh, but I'm just saying the facts right now. Right. I think that it's really important, like, you know, going off of like what is, you know, people are making up their own normal, mm-hmm. even though it's not normal. Um, because they just want like, oh, let me stretch. (laughs) (laughs) She's about to go in. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I think it's, it's so important to recognize that there's, you know, there's life outside of our own and embracing diversity. Like, like you mentioned, it's, it's like really important that we embrace diversity because it means acceptance, like accepting things that we can't change about others 
and things that we can't change about ourselves, you know, accepting how Allah created us. Um, and to be clear again, I have to be clear about this often, you know, because we don't want to get it twisted. Um, you know, things that we can't change are like things we can't change about ourselves, things we can't change about others are like ethnicity, uh, gender, um, cultural background, upbringing, education, socioeconomic status, and what you mentioned, like disabilities or um, like just, you know, illnesses and, and things like that. Um, yeah. Like it's important to recognize that learning about others will help us develop more empathy and I think emotional intelligence as well. Because like if we're always just approaching life um, with a homogenous lens, like we're really closing the door to so many beautiful things, you know, beautiful mm. friendships, beautiful relationships and halal relationships. Um, and Allah created things so we can appreciate them, you know, see the beauty in it and mm -hmm. just be in awe of like, wow, subhanAllah, Allah created that. And, you know, I, I should, um, appreciate that like what he created you know obviously yeah. in the realms of islam like permissibility and stuff um and so i think it's really important to learn more so that we become more accepting of one another and to be honest like embracing diversity makes makes like us more humble at least it makes yeah. me more humble and you know like we want to be humble because allah loves humility when we talk about diversity, I personally automatically think about community. Like, this is obviously why I wanted to base sort of season three on this. Um, and once we get past the, like, you know, formal definitions, formal topics, you know, diversity and community can branch off into many different things, you know, like mm -hmm. community of artists, community of entrepreneurs etc etc which inshallah will will have some episodes on some of those things so inshallah it's gonna be quite uh hopefully fun filled season three um inshallah so let's talk about community why do you think as a convert um we need a community mm. okay so in simple terms, we need to feel accepted and loved. It's like a basic human emotion for men and women. Mm -hmm. Like, why do you think that we feel so awful when being outcasted from certain cliques within school or workplaces or whatever institute say you're coming right. from? It's awful. And what I have noticed as a convert is that a lot of us want to feel like we're part of something, but very few of us are willing to put in the work to be part of that community. So true. And, like being part of a community means that we all have a responsibility for. Yes. Like if you want to join a community, then make something like do an event and then invite people into it we can't always just wait on someone to invite us to something right. like <laughs> we're not what's VIP. The term? yeah so that's the same thing that we have to do within community as well like we have to like organize these events we have to put in the work we have to check in with one another we have to mm -hmm. like especially during ramadan which could be especially lonely for us converts because we don't have family we don't have a place to go to and exactly. gather with like a whole community and right. just be like oh i learned this today and it was very interesting and then you share your thoughts and stuff on it we don't have that so mm -hmm. well this is what tcb is about we we create that community for our camellias, but at the same time, it's the camellia's responsibility as well to interact like, with one another. Right. Like we there has to be, be a like 24 seven. Ex exactly. Like there has to be a reciprocated effort. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely what like, you know, um, a community is about like, working together not just you know following the one that works 
you know what I mean? We work together. Like you need to put in yeah. the effort too. It's a communal effort. It is a communal effort, but also I think in this world, there's so many people that are made to have the mindset of like that sheep mentality, like right. her, yeah, yeah. No one wants to be the leader, and so I true. get that. It can be very uncomfortable. I was very like mind my own business don't want to like interact with other people but seriously me converting into islam and just going outside of my comfort zone being an entrepreneur being a businesswoman i forced myself to go outside of my comfort zone and this is where the most growth has been for me as a mm. human being i have expanded my mindset i have learned so much and it has humbled me so much as well right alhamdulillah yeah i could definitely do that since when we first started talking <laughs> mashallah my queen is growing up yay <laughs> 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 um no but it's so true like <clears throat> like there are some things that i will not go out of my comfort zone with like for example um i think like to do with my obviously morals and ethics but well yeah within your boundaries exactly but i think like with you know certain things like for example meeting new friends um you know getting a new job or starting a business whatever like like you said you have to put yourself out there um and there is discomfort in that you know what i mean mm -hmm. and but it's worth it like you know what i mean like we can't just sit around and wait for like the perfect friend to come along like we have to sort of just what is perfect anyway? yeah what is perfect anyway <laughs> we have to curb those expectations of like oh you know this it has to be like a perfect community there's no perfect no. community like you know what i mean everyone just comes together under like the same umbrella umbrella um with the same intentions and goals and we work together to you know strive and accomplish those goals you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i think that's why like for me that's why it's important to have a community because like why do we not need a community it's so important because islam is a collective uh community you know it's not like an individualistic one like yeah okay your worship is individual like you know you do you it's not our business what you do um in front of allah and for the sake of allah because islam is a collective community like the support must be there like we support one another like that's what a collective community does you know what i mean like if we just look at islam and the practices of islam we don't even actually need to dig deep for proof like for example men praying in congregation the eid prayers zakat halakas like learning circles are done together um even sending salam to someone even though you don't know them and returning the salam um you know that represents community it's like you're part of something it's like hey i get you and you get me you know let's yeah. do it together and i think like even the hijab for example like proper hijab is a sort of like representation like we're part of a community we're you know the community of islam like yeah. i think that's so beautiful and like let's not forget you know even calling a muslima like sis sister that's mm -hmm. like you know we're all part of a family and family means community you know so just like how we call our members camellias you know mm -hmm. we're all part of like the community uh, or a community we all i think sometimes like we forget that you know islam muslim the muslim community means like we all come together for the sake of allah no matter what walk of life um i came from or you you come from um you know what i mean i think it's so important for converts um especially converts to be a part of a community specifically mm -hmm. this community tcb we all came from such different lifestyles before islam mm -hmm. and you know we usually did things that were all prohibited in islam so yeah when you know we become muslim we have to give up all of that eventually you know so mm -hmm. We need to find the right support and the right social circle so we can learn the correct teachings of Islam and feel included, feel like, okay, 
she gets me like she understands what i've been through i'm not alone you know Mm -hmm. like humans Mm -hmm. are social creatures by nature so it's really important that we all stay together um we all strive together and help each other otherwise you know we'll never grow and neither will calling to islam like you know what i mean so community is so important and i think like like you mentioned like being a part of the community it means like being proactive and taking initiative i think oftentimes we forget that like we just think oh i'm gonna like this group on facebook and i'm just gonna (laughs) sit back and read the posts and that's it (laughs) like you know what i mean it's like yeah (laughs) mute viewers or like i'm gonna join the tcb like instagram page and just watch the stories and like not interact at all and just like mindlessly yeah i just that's that's gonna be for the tcp behind the scenes (laughs) it's really frustrating but we'll definitely touch on that like i have so much to say on this i'm excited (laughs) you just wait man um but yeah i think i think that i think your like both of our combined um perspectives and definitions on diversity and community are really what tcb is all about and what like islam is all about like basically tcb the tcb community is what islam should be inshallah all about yeah may allah preserve it Um, i mean i mean and help it grow and reach the right people i mean mean. what does it mean for you so obviously we know like we need a community and it's like important to have a community what does Mm -hmm. what does it mean to be a part of a community for you basically just being proactive and having that reciprocation of like you know validation of each other's emotions Mm. right because you know it's really hard to go through these waves of emotions by ourselves and relating to another person's story helps me um realize that i'm not alone in all of that i'm facing Mm -hmm. there's so many people that are going through worse situations that i am like i have did like my parents didn't kick me out of the house and i am grateful that they're still providing for me financially like there's this is a privilege within itself not a lot of people have that privilege and I am just super grateful for the fact that Allah has gifted me this type of family, Mm. but also has gifted me that resilience in defending my Islam. Like tonight in the dinner table, oh my gosh, um, there was this thing. um, I'm not sure if you know it, but it's called Longanisa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Filipino dish, right? Oh. And, and um, mm-hmm. my my mom, she found like a chicken version, and she's like, "Oh, it's chicken," but she didn't read like the ingredient packet. It had a pork casing. Oh my gosh! Ew! And I'm like, okay, I was reading the the package. Like, how did I was reading it before oh. she threw it away? Oh my gosh! And she's like, "Enough!" Like it's like a a term of endearment like like, like (laughs) i found i found this for you like it's chicken like don't you think it's gonna taste nice i'm like oh that's that's interesting and like i kind of do miss it i'm not gonna lie right so i'm like okay yeah let's let's get it let's try it out and then when she was cooking it i'm like oh my god i can't eat this and there's nothing else to eat and i was just eating like vegetables and rice uh-huh what? and she's like why why aren't you eating this I, I cooked this specifically for you i bought this specifically for you i'm like mom it i told you it has pork casing i can't like eat something that has been cross-contaminated i'm so i'm so adamant on this like right i can't yeah. i can't eat anything that's touching pork like mm-hmm, mm-hmm there's certain boundaries that i just don't cross okay my family doesn't understand how that fine i'll just eat chicken i'll eat fish i'll eat vegetable whatever i just won't eat pork but the moment there's cross contamination that's where i stand my ground like i am not going to put that in my mouth 
it's not gonna go near my now my mouth yeah and they're they were giving me this attitude like oh my god she's at it again like this is like, <laughs> uh-huh. she's like this crazy muslim that's that's um doing way too much for her religion and i'm just like you guys it's like the bare minimum like let me be for frick's sakes yeah you don't even wear your hijab like out with them <laughs> It's annoying, like, but whatever. Like, I'm like just at everything. least like for the food, like you know what I mean. Like you compromise a lot. I'm compromising so much, and yeah. like even there's some times where I feel like this this whiff of iman, and I'm like, okay, I just break down and cry, and realize so many times I've sinned, and that I I like compromise my Islam, and then I'm like why do i become so numb to this like a stuff for what like i've become so numb just to like oh it's not pork okay i'll eat it mm-hmm. like even just the halal part of it i'm like i really have to start taking this seriously or else i'm just like it's gonna go in my bad deeds right, like, right. i can't i can't just go on and become numb to it that's like the shaitan side like whispering in my ear so like when i do hear someone sharing their stories like this it makes me feel a part of that community and that's why i feel like it's so important to reach out and share our stories so then people can feel less lonely right right and i think that that's so important to have like just to know that oh she's going through it how do i navigate like someone how do i navigate as a new muslim for example like yeah. this these kind of things and then like it's like oh queenie knows because she goes through it like you know and that's basically why we have this community well one of the reasons why we have this community is just like we're, we're a support system you know what i mean mm-hmm. we're not like a yeah although we're like trying to push out more like educational content we're not like obviously an educational web like website (laughs) yeah we're not like sheikhs or like (laughs) scholars but we're just like a support system letting you know that like we're we're going through it we've been through it we're here you know Mm -hmm. what i mean you're not alone but i feel like people need to realize that like you know because i see a lot of people on instagram and like i don't obviously i hate like pointing out people like i'm I'm not like pointing out anyone specifically but just there's a lot of like sisters on instagram who are always posting like they don't have anyone they don't have a support group they're all alone Mm. but it's like okay but there are resources out there there's like platforms out there like you just need to find them you need to look for them you know what i mean yeah so this is one reason why I really, really wish that TCB, by Allah's permission, will grow, um, um, you know, more and more so that it can reach those sisters that are feeling, you know, like they don't have anybody. Of course, like we all have a lot that goes without saying, you know, we know yeah. that. But like after a lot, it's like, OK, if you're looking for that community, like, you know, inshallah, like we're here for you. Inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, people have to do their due diligence in researching, like, different things for a community exactly. or, like, following certain fiqh or whatever that that is. Like, we can't just follow whatever is spreaded by mouth because, like, oh, um, they claim to be a trusted person within islam or something like that and then they're like okay i'm just gonna follow it no you have to do your due diligence and researching like if it's authentic hadith or like if you can cite the quran like this is why tcb always goes back to hadith like authentic hadith this is why we always cite quran it's because we don't know anything we always have to go back to the word of allah like us human beings we make mistakes all the time right exactly so what is the most trusted source obviously quran next is authentic hadith this is all we have to do exactly and i think like you know it's so important like just sticking together Mm -hmm. you know and being around like-minded sisters like 
I feel like it's really important to be around um, sisters who want to be better Muslimas, you know? Mm-hmm. Not just like, oh, I converted, I'm happy where I am, I am happy, you know, just doing the minimum, which alhamdulillah, like, at least you're doing the minimum, you know, the bare minimum. Yeah. Um, but you're just staying there and you you don't want to grow. Like, you know, I, I feel personally for me, like, that's not, I, I don't want to be a part of a community that is just like while it embraces everyone like there's no what's next like you know what i mean mm-hmm. and you just stay complacent because i think like in in islam it's always encouraged to be better to strive harder and do more you know what i mean we don't just mm-hmm. say the shahada and just sit there and like okay i'm muslim now there's no what's <laughs> next you know what i mean like next What's next is my death. Like, (laughs) you know what I mean? But I haven't prepared anything for that. We're not about that, you know? And I think, like, it's really important to find a community. Um, I mean, even if it weren't for TCB, like, it's it's still important to find a community that allows you to grow and continue striving to be better. You know what I mean? I don't even know. Like, am I making sense? Gosh. I mean both of us are really tired so <laughs> know, like, like camellias if you are listening to this like forgive us yeah we'll like be better <laughs> next time inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> and we have to let you all know that this is actually a second time we're recording the first episode because the first <laughs> the really the first episode we actually recorded which like we had more hype and energy was the, the audio quality was just terrible and there was no way I was going to publish. Salvage it. Yeah, there was no way I could save it and there was no way that I was going to publish something like that because I really value quality. So I just couldn't. So here we are re-recording. Um, but inshallah, everything made sense to everybody. I'm going to mm. find out if it did while I edit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so the last question was, or the last question is why TCB takes diversity and community seriously. And we basically sort of touched on it quite a bit. Um, Mm -hmm. I wanted to actually add like, you know, um, no, actually I did mention that already, like how we're all coming together to strive. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that what I wanted to add is that TCB, you know, the camellias bloom is a garden of unique diverse camellias so we're coming together you know in we're we're in the same garden but we're blooming we're different flowers different camellias but we're blooming in the same garden so this whole theme yeah. is like you know the garden theme it it symbolizes like wholesome holistic uh growth you know where it takes time, it takes nurturing and nourishing, you know, to bloom and blossom. And I really love that flower garden analogy because it really does symbolize like what our growth as a Muslim should be like. It shouldn't be like overnight, you know, overwatering and over, you know, feeding, force feeding. And then like, you're just going to destroy yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we don't want that. We want a gradual, you know, balance. process. Yes, balance. And it's all about balance. So that's what the community is about. And I think that's why as Khadija Kimchi, I just really value diversity and community for TCB so much because I think that like, you know, like as a Muslim, like a convert Muslim, I think like, there's so many things that I can learn from you and from other sisters and from just everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's so important as like just being, if I'm wearing the hijab and calling myself a Muslim, like that's what I should be doing. Like, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? Embracing others and learning about them and what can I learn from them that will help me grow as a person? Yeah. Um, So, yeah, I think it's really important. And also, like, I always feel like I always emphasize this, that, like, TCB is a community where we are supportive and non-judgmental. 
and we don't shame we don't shame we try our best not to shame others because everyone's on their own we don't have a right to exactly (laughs) like who the heck are we anyways um Mm -hmm. but yeah like everyone is on their own journey including ourselves and um of course like you know under the correct teachings of islam of course we don't want to shame others you know there's so many different communities or like quote-unquote communities on that i've seen on social media that like indirectly or directly shame others for like not wearing the hijab properly you know not doing xyz and then it's sort of like so toxic because it, it's like okay well are you perfect apparently you're perfect because <laughs> you know you're pointing out other people's um, shortcomings and like sins and struggles you're pointing out other people's struggles but like oh you don't have struggles you're sin free you know what i mean and plus like the things that like i feel that we are able to do it's not from and i always mention this it's not from our own hands and this is actually a reminder like i always have to remind myself it's not from my own hands it's from allah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I should feel grateful and I should help others with what Allah has blessed me with, not like put them down. Ew, that's so toxic. It is toxic. <laughs> Honestly. Like what ha- this is like one reason why I feel like our community is different from others. You know, like we we don't because I've been there. I've been through that shaming phase. Like, may Allah forgive me. I've been there. Mm-hmm. Like I've done that. And it's just like, you know. It doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't. You know, like, just like... Come off your high horse, please. <laughs> yeah, like, stop bullying. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, so any final any final thoughts? Like, I'm really excited for this season three, inshallah, because I feel like just talking about all of these things in, in our first episode, like, I have so mm-hmm. much more to say. And for once, like, this season, I'm going to be talking more <laughs> instead of, like, just interviewing and being, like, you know the the listener um yeah. i'm going to be sharing my thoughts as well so i do have like a lot of topics we have a lot of interesting topics inshallah so do you have any final thoughts i i just want to say like everyone be kind to one another be kind to yourself first and foremost because we are the worst criticizers for ourselves and take it easy take it one step at a time and if you've been wanting to get help from one of us the tcb admins reach out we can't read your minds if you're looking for a sign this is your sign reach (laughs) out (laughs) because like we really want to be there for you and you're not supposed to go through this alone there's a community out there we're here reach out we're always gonna be there for you and try to be like not judgmental we we really do try our best to sympathize empathize with your situation and we've been through one of the toughest situations we both live in asian households okay it's really (laughs) tough out here (laughs) so Uh, don't worry Like, I'm not even living at home and I'm still going through the struggles, the challenges, Subhanallah. the toxicity. SubhanAllah. It's a heavy so, weight. Yeah. It is a heavy weight. So, mm-hmm. we're always going to be here for you. Just reach out whenever. And if we don't get back to you, like, right then and there, please know that we have our own lives and we have to get through tons of messages here and there. Exactly. So, but we do like we always we don't want to always like, get back to you exactly um alhamdulillah and we don't want to be like those really really like we're not even like <laughs> no i mean we're not even like um like a huge like famous platform alhamdulillah no, for that alhamdulillah. but we don't want to be like those accounts where you know you're just a number and we don't get back to you like we always make it a point inshallah to yeah. get back to our camellias yeah inshallah but that's all i want to say <laughs> okay jazakallah khair um my Are final okay? thoughts i just wanted to say you know like just summing up everything and what tcb is all about tcb is a place where you know you meet other sisters who have the same goals and understand that we all 
unite under the banner of Tawheed, um, which means like we strive only to please Allah and we embrace everyone no matter what color, skin color, ethnicity, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, and TCB is an all inclusive community for striving sisters which means you're a sister who wants to be better who wants to work towards wearing the hijab work towards praying all of your five daily prayers and Mm -hmm. you know getting married halal like getting married halal getting married Mm -hmm. like in a halal way or like you know finding a spouse or obviously we're not here to help you find a spouse but we (laughs) like we help you navigate that journey Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) yeah um but yeah so we're a community for striving sisters all inclusive for new muslims old muslims born muslimas converts you know not yet muslims even so um i'm really really hoping that Allah, by Allah's permission, that we can really be a community that represents diversity and community. We mm-hmm. want TCB to be that community that embraces diversity and community. Like yes. we want to be known for that, you know. Inshallah, mm-hmm. keep us in your duals, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for the first. Hold on, I think I'm far from the mic. That's it for the first episode of season three. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so make sure to check in with us next week, inshallah. This is Khadija and me signing off. Assalamu alaikum. What are you? Assalamu alaikum. I better catch you.